Tonight on CBS 19, 10 at 10, any guesses as to who will win the World Cup? Why not ask an elephant? Meet two pachyderms who played their own soccer game to predict the outcome and find out who came out on top tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thank you for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. Clint Yates has the morning off. A driver has been arrested on two counts of intoxication manslaughter after a deadly wreck in Kilgore. According to DPS spokeswoman Jean Dark, a family was riding north on 259 when a Ford F-350, driven by 22-year-old Shelby Taylor, began barreling toward it on the wrong side, hitting the family's minivan. Five-year-old Riera Patel and 12-year-old Trish Patel were sleeping in the back seat with their safety belts unbuckled. Both died instantly. The grandmother of a toddler who died after getting stuck in a hot pickup truck last month is defending her son. Details emerge about the circumstances surrounding the little girl's death. 33-year-old Russell Lindstrom of Flint was arrested Wednesday and charged with manslaughter and injury to a child. His three-year-old daughters were found unresponsive in his truck after apparently climbing inside to play last month. But one girl did survive. An arrest affidavit released yesterday says Lindstrom recklessly neglected his daughters playing games on his cell phone and blaring music. His mother says it was all just a terrible tragedy, calling his arrest unfair and inhumane. None of this was intentional. Yes, Bella is gone and we're, we're all going to miss her and we can't bring her back. But there's no reason to tear this family apart and to crucify that boy. Lindstrom is being held at the Smith County Jail on $200,000 bond. His family has created a GoFundMe page to try to raise money for an attorney. <laughs> Happening now, measures are underway to stop the spread of giant salvinia in East Texas lakes. Thursday, Texas parks and wildlife workers took to the waters to profile heavily infested areas and mark them down for future springs. The invasive Brazilian plant can cover lakes, killing fish and blocking boats. Biologists say this year has been much better than last year. Let's get over to Scott Fossey for your forecast. Dana, your Friday forecast across the Piney Woods of East Texas heading into the weekend. Temperatures unseasonably warm for this time of the year. A couple of degrees above normal actually should top out near about 95, 96 today with high pressure and control of our weather pattern here. Not only today, but all the way through the weekend. We've got some big changes in store, though, coming next week. An unseasonably uh, strong July cold front, a cool uh, Canadian air mass forming near the U.S.-Canadian border on Sunday. It sinks in our general direction Monday finally arrives here late Tuesday into Wednesday next week. Temperatures significantly cooler then and also a much better chance for wet weather area wide for us starting early to middle part of next week. So at least we have that around the corner. Afternoon highs this weekend top out in the upper 90s. We'll call for 97 on Monday as well. There's that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. Look at the air mass behind the front on Wednesday. Noticeably cooler with highs in the upper 80s near 90 degrees. Thank you, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv.